3.1b, One-Step Equations, Subtraction Principle. Once again, we can do anything as long as we do it to both sides of the equation. The subtraction principle says that to move a positive term, we do the opposite and we subtract it from both sides. The key here is once again we always do the opposite if we want to move it and that we have to do it to both sides. Remember it is very important to show all your work. Example 1 is x plus 8 equals 4. We are trying to determine what x is. In order to do this, we must get x alone. Sometimes it is helpful to put a dotted line down where the equal sign is. This will help ensure that we do something to both sides of the equal sign or both sides of our dotted line. Remember that in order to get rid of or move something from one side to the other, we are always doing the opposite. The opposite of adding 8 would be to subtract 8 from both sides. In this way, we can get x alone because the positive 8 and the negative 8 combine to 0, which is not needed to be written. We then have x equals a negative 4 and a negative 8. Remember with same signs, you add the numbers together and keep the sign. Therefore giving you x equals negative 12. Once again, you can check your solutions. In order to check your solution, you do the substitution where you put parentheses for the variable and you write the rest of the equation as it was originally written. You then plug the number into the parenthesis and you find that negative 12 plus 8 is negative 4 and that equals negative 4 which is true so this tells us this is our solution. In example 2 we can use the same method only the x this time is on the right hand side which does not change in any way how you solve the problem. Remember you can place a dotted line to help keep your work organized. In order to get x alone, we want to get rid of the number that is on the same side. To do so, we do the opposite, which would be subtracting 7. In this way, the 7 minus the 7 becomes 0 and x is alone. We now have x equals 3 minus 7. Remember if two terms have opposite signs. You subtract them giving you 4 and you keep the sign of the larger number. We now have x equals negative 4. We can check this answer to see if we have made a mistake by plugging it in. When we plug it in we use the original equation only instead of the x we place negative 4. In this check you can see that we have a double sign. We must address this before going further. We then get 7 minus 4 equals the 3. 7 minus 4 is 3, which equals 3. Since this is a true statement, we know our answer is x minus 4. Keep in mind that when solving equations, you are always doing the opposite and that you must do it to both sides of an equation. Drawing a dotted line down where the equal sign is will sometimes help to ensure that you do it to both sides. Also remember, you may check your answers to see if you have made a mistake.